what's up y'all this is Aaliyah Bernice here and I did this get ready with me fall look if you guys want to see how I achieved this look as well as me chatting with you guys ask you guys questions on my Instagram story and I'm gonna answer them for you so we're gonna sit back relax have some fun and get into this look don't forget to like comment and subscribe Follow me on Instagram at Leah B. I will leave everything down below. Until then, see you in my next video. Bye. If you hear my fan, I am so sorry in advance. It is like 150 degrees in here, okay? It is, it is hot, yeah. Um, the palette that I'm going to be starting off with is the brand new Juvia's Place Nomad palette. Look how beautiful this palette is, guys. When I bought it, I was like, mm, I don't know, but then when I really looked at the colors, I was like, ooh, I was like, this palette screams fall. Doesn't it scream fall? Like, this screams fall, okay? So, we're about to, this look is really about to be a one, two, three look. Um, I'm not doing any type of, like, cut crease and things that I usually would do. I want this to be, like, you know for an everyday person but i am going to spruce it up just a little bit and put like glitter underneath to make it extra because you know eyes is my specialty but this palette does not have names so i'm going to take this shade right here as my start off transition shade so just gonna dig out a little brush in there Ooh, this color is very pretty so colors like this like soft yellows i don't mind bringing it up to the brow bone because it's not like a heavy yellow like it's not so bright so i don't mind bringing it up to the brow bone so that's exactly what i'm going to do here i'm just gonna blend it all the way up into the brow bone so this is what it looks like you see it's just nice and soft nothing crazy you know just a soft yellow but we're going to darken it a little bit so we're going to take this color right here and we're going to put that into the crease using the same brush so i like to use brushes that are multi-use i don't like switching to three four five different brushes just to get to different areas of the eye that's mad work i don't got time for it like we're not about to do that today okay so i'm just taking this color just to deepen it up but you still want to leave the yellow right above there okay so if you do go a little high just go in with the first shade and just blend out the outer edges to smooth it out and then you'll be good to go so these colors are pigmented. If you guys haven't tried Julia's Place yet, go ahead and try them because they're mom, okay? They're mom. But yeah, let's go ahead and blend this out. Okay, so like I was stating earlier, some people did ask me questions. So you know what? While I'm blending out this color, let's go ahead and get into a question. So the first question that came up on my phone what made you want to start your own lash line that is a very good question because a lot of people do not ask me that question but um i do have a lash line that is coming out hopefully either the end of this month or october there's some um delays going on right now with finishing touches on my packaging so that's why i haven't really done a launch launch but i have like some close friends and stuff that purchase lashes from me and things like that but i haven't like released it to the public so um what made me want to start a lash line i love lashes let me just explain it to you when i first started wearing makeup i never wore lashes i naturally have long lashes when i put mascara on so um when I started wearing lashes, when I um, started doing extravagant looks, I was like, ooh, I love the look of how lashes really completes the look. So I started just wearing lashes and everybody used to stop me and be like, oh my God, your lashes, they look so nice, they look so nice. And I'm just like, oh, thank you. 
and people would just tell me oh if you ever like sold lashes i will buy them from you like i always love how you have your lashes look with your um eyeshadow and once people started hyping me up and telling me that i was like you know what i might as well just start a lash line so it's called glam doll lashes um i was thinking of a whole bunch of names but then when i thought of glam doll lashes it stuck with me it was something that stuck i wrote it down in my phone i was like okay this is my number one choice if i find something better that sticks with me then i'll change the name but i didn't find anything that stuck with me so i was just like okay this is gonna be the name of it and then i found a vendor which i'm super super happy about i found a vendor and i just started trying on different styles which ones i would want to incorporate in my line and there were just so many people like oh my god i need those lashes and i was like yeah i'm coming out with a lash line or whatever like here's my info so yeah um i'm very excited i can't wait for the super super launch of it you're going to see me put a pair of them on um and i will talk about it like when i'm up to that part in my makeup but yeah basically just having everybody gas me about my lashes <laughs> like that's the honest truth everybody was really gas me like i'm just like it's just lashes like relax it's just lashes but i guess people saw more than that so for all the people that gassed me thank you thank you in advance because if it wasn't for y'all gassing me i would not think to start a lash line okay so we have these two colors on if you see they are nice and blended got a little bit of orange but this is not doing it for me i want it to be a lot deeper so i'm going to take the ring the alarm palette from morphe this is the morphe jaclyn hill collab and i'm going to take this color right here this is mugshot this is like a dark orange brown and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to deepen the crease a little bit more. There we go. We're going back in with the first shade that we placed, which was the transition shade, the light yellow. And I'm just using that to just buff out the edges of that orange. I want everything to be nice and blended, nice and seamless. I hate when people do their eyeshadows and you can literally see a line between your first color, your second color, like your third color. Like it doesn't look like they marry into each other. It drives me insane. I'll be looking at them like, alright, you really think you you look like something. And your eyes look terrible. But you know, small and wave, like they say matter gas star. Small and freaking wave because mm -mm. Okay, that looks really pretty. So, literally, the eyes are almost done. And I know you're probably looking at me like, the eyes are almost done? The eyes are literally almost done. It's, it's freaking insane. I'm going to take a small brush right here. This brush I'm going to talk about. This is the M514 from Morphe. It's literally like a small, fluffy brush. I really like this brush. So, I'm going to do like the fake cut crease illusion like a more of a buffed out cut crease if that makes sense so i'm gonna go right back into my soft ochre i'm gonna swirl my brush into the soft ochre and i'm literally going to make it look like i'm doing a cut crease but it's not a precise cut crease I love doing this because it's so easy to do. You literally, if you use the right brush, you can't really mess up on this. It gives you like a really buffed out look. So I'm literally just dipping it into soft ochre. So if you guys don't know how to do a cut crease, do this method. It's so easy. Like you could literally give the illusion of a cut crease in like 3.5 seconds without using a precise type brush and a precise method to do it. 
I'm known for cut creases and colors and like dramatic eye looks but lately I've been really into like soft looks now we're gonna take the same exact brush but I'm using a clean one I'm gonna dip it into this yellow so this is like the brighter yellow and that's gonna go all over that soft ochre so I'm literally going to press it on oh this yellow is pretty and it got some like glitter flecks in it so I'm gonna take this color right here and we're gonna put this on the outer portion So my camera had a technical difficulty. It stopped the recording. I don't know why. I have to do my research. I really don't know why I did that, but yeah. At least I didn't miss out on nothing. There's an olive green in this palette and I have to use it. So is this color right here. I'm going to take a little bit of it and I'm going to add it right next to the burgundy. one affordable and one high-end so 
my affordable makeup brand that I like, I love NYX. I love their primers. I love their um, can't stop, won't stop concealers. Um, what else do I like for them? Their eyeliner, of course. Um, their lip glosses are bomb. NYX is really good. They've been stepping up their game. I haven't tried like their shadows and stuff like that, but their can't stop, won't stop foundation is bomb too. Like they have really good stuff. NYX is definitely on my top list. And then for high end, I would say MAC just because I work there and I tried out a lot of their stuff. Um, when I was working at Ulta, I didn't really try a lot of high end stuff like that um because the discount was kind of trash and i'm cheap so i try to look for a deal on everything and i'm like 25 percent off is not gonna cut it so at mac we get 60 percent. so i was able to try a lot of stuff and a lot of the complexion stuff that i'm using today is from mac i really like mac they're good i like them they're good so i will say mac and i'll say nyx Let's answer this question because this question is is, is pretty deep okay um how to get over or separate yourself from a recent ex to get over it keep yourself occupied do things that make you happy honestly whether it's writing because i did a lot of writing writing actually helped me i used to write notes in my phone about things that i was going through and just read it out loud to myself and just look back at it and be like Aaliyah, like this is really something you went through like you're worth so much more you're so much better than this like sometimes you have to give yourself a pep talk and be like listen like you're with a cornball what has he done for you that really benefited you like is this someone you can see yourself with for the rest of your life is this what you deserve you know and when you finally come to that realization that this is something that you don't deserve i feel like it's easier for you to leave but at the same time i had a lot of self-doubt in that relationship i felt like oh um this is someone that i want to be with even though he was treating me like nothing you know he wasn't giving me no attention i didn't feel like i was important to him but i still stayed because i kind of felt bad because i was the only person that was there when it came to like helping him financially and things of that sort like not even his own bros was there for him and i felt bad so i was just like you know what like i'm gonna just still stick around wait it out see if it'll get better and it didn't get better it got worse and don't hang on to a relationship until it gets worse because you're gonna find yourself in a really deep shit really deep shit and you're just gonna be like yo now i'm in a situation that is really hard for me to get out of um get out while you can you know um makeup definitely helped me a lot and also like talking to people i look weird because i don't got the lashes on but we don't put lashes on soon um now we're about to highlight which is like my favorite part so to highlight, I'm going to use the Studio Finish Concealer, also by MAC. This is in NC42. Can you see it? Can you see it? There you go. NC42, and I'm just going to take this Morphe Buffing Brush to apply it. I've been liking using creams to conceal and highlight for some reason because I like how it just blends into the skin. And as you see, this is a very bright concealer. I love OD with my highlight. I like to be two to three shades lighter under my eyes and my forehead, chin, like everywhere that I highlight. So, yeah. Don't worry, this is not too light for me. You're probably looking at it like, yo, what is she doing? Why is this concealer so light? But trust me, it's not light. It's not too light. This is perfect. So, if I could have one makeup product for the rest of my life, it would be concealer, brows, definitely bronzer. Oh my God. 
bronzer. Forget about it. Bronzer is my best friend. It's literally my best friend. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with a brush. This is my under eye setting brush from Real Techniques. It looks like this. I'm just gonna take it and we're just going to blend this out. All right. So I just did my first layer of spray off camera because my camera is still being stupid for some reason. I don't know what's going on. I think I have to change the setting or something, but yeah. We do not stop here, okay? So you see that I sprayed my face. We're starting to look like something. We don't start here. If you leave it like this, you're going to look flat. And I keep telling people that. Why would you just put foundation and powder on and wonder why you look so flat? You have to put on bronzer or something. So let's go in and answer the question about what's the difference between bronzer and contour. Contouring and bronzing is quote unquote the same thing in a sense. The only difference is that contouring is more of a sculpting feature. Like you're using contouring to sculpt out certain features of the face or to form like a shadow to either cover or hide like a double chin or you want to bring your cheeks higher and make them look more prominent you want to make your forehead smaller or you want to make your forehead wider or you want to make your nose slimmer contouring is adding structure to the face now bronzing bronzing is pretty much contouring in a sense but without the structure so i don't like to contour i only contour my nose i just like to bronze so i would just take like a big fluffy angle brush the bronzer that i'm using is the nyx california beam and bronzer this is in golden state and i'm literally just taking the bronzer and i'm just going to just dust it on the skin so as you see i'm not chiseling anything i'm literally just applying the bronzer to my face and this is how i add the warmth back into my skin so if you're just using bronzer and you're not contouring you're just adding warmth back into the skin you're not necessarily carving out any features of the face or anything and you can use bronzer to contour there's different shades of like matte bronzers that you can use to contour the face so yeah that's pretty much the difference as you see i'm not really adding any type of structure there's no chiseled look i just use it to add color to my face so contouring i feel like it's a whole extra step that's not necessary like for me i don't feel like it's necessary it's only necessary on my nose like i like the look of a contoured nose as you see my nose is fat so it doesn't really have like any structure down the bridge so i like to give the illusion of like a bridge so i would just you know contour my nose to make it look like i have a structured bridge but other than that i literally just go in and just add color to my skin by bronzing so we're gonna highlight real quick and i'll take in mac old darling and i'll only highlight my cheek on a little bit of MAC Lovejoy okay got a blush on so this is pretty much the look my camera's about to die so I'm gonna come back and show you guys like my lip and my lashes and then we'll be done okay so i'm back temporarily lips i'm going to use a brown lip liner this is max chestnut
And then for gloss, I'm taking Primordial, which is like this pretty nude. This is a MAC lip gloss. So, let me just show you guys the lashes. This is from my lash line. This is in the style Flutter. Can y'all see that? Yeah, there we go. This is in the style Flutter. I love these lashes. These are like my favorite lashes from my lash line. And these are 25 milliliters. So I'm going to put these on and then I'll be right back with the full completed look. Okay guys, so I am back. My camera had died. But this is the finished look. I am loving how this looks. And these are the lashes put on. These are Flutter and my lash line, Glam Doll Lashes. So they will be $15. So my site will be up soon. But if you're in the NYC area and want to purchase some lashes, feel free to go on Glam Doll Lashes on Instagram and you can DM me. So yeah. But this is the look. And I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching.